What is up everybody, Renfail here, and welcome back to another video about Dune Spice Wars. Today we're diving into a guide on the single player game modes. So if you're coming into this game to play it like I'm playing it, which is kind of harkening back to the early days of the Dune RTSs that we grew up with, if you're of my generation anyway, there hasn't been a good Dune game in quite a while, so this has been a very pleasant surprise. Um, there is a multiplayer aspect to this if you want to get into the multiplayer game, but I'm here to talk today about the single player stuff. So you've got your traditional Battle for Arrakis, sort of. This is the RTS that everyone knows and understands. Um, it's winner takes all, right? It says it's a medium game with up to four factions battling and scheming for the control of the northern hemisphere of Arrakis. Then you have Conquest Mode, which is a much longer lasting campaign. Um, think about the Battle for Arrakis as something that can be done in a few hours depending on a few factors, um, whereas Conquest is something that's going to be played out over many, many sessions. There are a lot of maps to conquer. There are multiple ways to conquer everything, but your objective is to take on the entirety of the Northern Hemisphere as opposed to one single territory. Um, and then you have Canley Duels, which is two factions going in head-to-head -head, um, as opposed to the Battle for Arrakis, which is four. So I want to walk you through each one of these. We're going to do a detailed overview, look at the way all of these modes are set up, and hopefully that'll give you some information on which mode that you want to play if you decide to sink your teeth into Dune Spice Wars. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, do me a solid, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We do streams every single morning at 5.30 a.m., 8 p.m. Central, multi-stream on YouTube and Twitch so you can pick where you'd like to tune in. And we cover a lot of different games, so make, make, a, bleh, make sure... Make, a, make, a, make, a. make sure to check out all the playlists here on YouTube um, so that you can figure out which games you think you might want to try because I do a lot of stuff. Plus we play online games, MMORPGs and stuff with our community. Discord, links are down below. Let's dive into this here. Uh, the Battle for Arrakis is that standard mode that everyone knows. And if you go ahead and click on that, you're going to get these five factions that you can choose from. Each faction has a pro and con. This is the same across uh, the... The, this map, the Battle for Arrakis map, the Conquest map, and the Conley maps, this, this is the same thing. It's the factions all have the same pros and cons. It's just how many factions can you choose from. So you choose your starting faction. Let's just say I want the Smugglers. And you're going to get this really cool. I, I love the art style in this game, so I love these scenes. Um, you're going to get this overview map, which is telling you a little bit more about the Smugglers in greater detail. And over on the right, we need to do a few things. So first and foremost, we need to pick some counselors. So counselors are people who help you in the day-to-day -day, um, with the uh, some of the management aspects of what's going on with the campaign management. The 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 the, the um, not the actual like controlling of the territory and gathering resources and everything else, but all of the espionage stuff and going to the lands rack and lands rack and and all these different things. So. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> I'm still learning it. So you got to pick a couple of counselors. Um, it's up to you. They all have different things that make them useful. So you might try one easy, one hard. They also have a recommendation on why it's an easy person or a hard person. Then you need to switch over to settings and double check just everything you want. You can change the map size here. Again, this will reflect... How long of a session is this going to be, this Battle for Iraq? Is it, are you going to use a small map and have it be a shorter session? Are you going for a medium map, which would be a, you know, a couple few hours? Or are you going for large map, which might take longer? Um, it's kind of up to you and what you want to experience out of the game. You can adjust all these things. Sandworm, Storm Strength, Local Strength, Spice Contract, the types of victories you can reach, um, the AI difficulty, AI count, so on and so forth. And the other players who are AI, you can determine how many of those are you can also um, choose who the factions are or you can let it be random and go from there um, now that's covering the battle for Arrakis mode now if we were to start and let's go ahead and just um, let's go ahead and go back to this real quick and actually click on the start button see what that looks like once you're done uh, doing the battle for Arrakis mode um, and you've selected your your character, your faction, it's going to load in. And this is what that looks like for the Battle for Arrakis. So you're immediately jumping into gameplay. You've got a, a, a siege set up, and from here it's time to start exploring and setting everything up. So this is a very easy way to play. I actually started on Conquest mode, 
And when I come back and do the next stream, I'm going to be going over and actually doing the Battle for Arrakis mode first. Someone made a suggestion. I thought it was great, which was, hey, maybe you're struggling a little bit in Conquest mode. Maybe you should do a battle uh, to figure out some of the long-term mechanics. I was like, that's actually a really good idea, so we're going to be doing that tonight. But it just jumps you right into the gameplay. So once you finish up the tutorial, you can come in here and immediately get into um, playing the game. So let's go back to the main menu here. And we will take a look at the conquest mode. So if we go into conquest mode, uh, do I want to load it? No. Same thing. Pick your faction. Now, it's a little different here because you're setting your difficulty and conquest name, but that's it. There's no adjusting, like, sandworm stuff and everything else. Um, you can, however... Um, like I said, adjust the difficulty slider, change all the, the information that you need to change, and then you can go in here and hit the start. Now this time when it starts, it's going to present you with um, a territory um, of maps, or a, ma a map of different territories. I need to learn how to speak. It's been a long day. And what you're going to do is your objective is to take over this whole map. So you've got all these different tiles, right? And this is going to be between you and the enemy. Um, and you choose a starting bonus. This is a little random. So every time you start, the map layout is different. And um, some of the things that you get are different. So it's slightly random each time you start. And you just pick something. Um, military prestige. How about respect from the houses? I like that one. That sounds really good. So we're going to pick that as our starting bonus. It then tells us, okay, we can pick from these two territories to um, look at. One's a mountain and one's plateaus, right? So we get to look at these two, and once we see these, we can see what kind of what kind of territory it is. It's volcanic range, it has a bonus up here, um, it has high siege activity. Um, we've got to pick our counselors here. We'll do... Thufer and Lady Jessica, just to show these are examples. Um, objective is to gain hegemony over the volcanic range. Um, choose one bonus among the following. Um, I think we're going to Landstrat standing, because that was really hard for me last time. Oh, I guess I don't choose that yet. Okay, never mind. And then we have um, secondary objectives. Gain three development assets. That's a little different every time. My other campaign, it was uh, don't pay your taxes. <laughs> like, avoid paying your taxes, I guess. Um, don't get hit with the feet fines, I guess is what it was. Not avoid paying your taxes, but pay your taxes on time. And uh, go from there. Welcome to the channel, Rogric. I gotta remember to turn those off when I'm doing my recordings. And then you start, and it spawns you in the same way it would um, on the Battle for Rackus mode. You're going to start with your little territory. Um, love the loading screen art, man. I just like all the art in this game. It's really pleasant. And there you have the conquest mode. You start off here, um, and you get a little um, dialogue thing to start, and then you can you, you have an outpost, and you can start going from here and recruiting and doing all the things you need to do uh, to conquer not only just this territory, but also all of those other territories um, on the map. So this is something that's meant to take place over multiple days, multiple sessions. So this is more of a long-term commitment for those of you who are really enjoying Spice Wars. So without further ado, let's go back and take a look at the last version. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Again, pick a faction. Once we've picked the cat faction, pick two counselors. Yeah, and who else? Pick her. Yeah. Go into settings. We could do the same thing. We could turn on um, all these different settings. We can adjust the AI difficulty, but this time, instead of there being up to th you know three other players, there's just one. It's just you, head to head. So you start the game. This is, I would argue that this might even be more fast-paced 
than the um, the Battle for Rackus mode because that you're going up against multiple other parties and here it's just you and one other person. So it's head to head, um, get out there and and try to survive and and do better than the other side. So this is the quickest and easiest of the three for those of you who want to be playing the um, single player storyline. So I think without further ado, we can go back to the main menu here. And I could say, hey, this is a really cool game. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I think that if you like RTS games and you like the Dune IP, it's not going to dive deep into the Dune lore, but I have found that they have done a fairly good job of representing the factions that exist in the books while also adding their own flavor to things. And the overall art style, um, I really enjoy. It's a pleasant game to look at. The UI is really well done. It's one of the best UIs I've seen in recent history. So if you get turned on by art and UI, um, it's probably going to be something fun for you just to look at. The gameplay is super complex. I'm not showing a lot of that here because I just wanted to explain the modes to you. Um, I'm still fairly new to the game, and I find it not quite overwhelming but definitely very challenging to learn all the things because the tutorial only runs you through the basics and then you're kind of left out to just go figure it out um, so these are the three modes that you have on single player mode again you've got battle for arrakis which is a traditional campaign you've got the conquest mode which is more of a long-term thing and then you've got the canley duel which is a shorter experience where it's just you one-on-one -on -one with an ai so if you want to try this out, these are the modes of single-player gameplay. I'm going to be doing the Battle for Arrakis mode, I think, tonight when I stream. I have no idea when you're watching this video, so hopefully we'll see you in one of the next streams. Again, every morning at 5.30 a.m. and every evening at 8 p.m. We play lots of different games. Check out the playlists. Check out the Discord. See you next time, everybody. Until then, stay safe and happy gaming.